Hey, wanted to make a video of a review of a Miller Top feeder. Uh, and uh, this is particularly a Miller Top feeder sold by Bailey Bee Supply in North Carolina, Hillsboro, North Carolina. This is for an eight frame feeder, $24.95 uh, when we got it. And um, I, I, I guess there are a lot of Miller top feeder design so any type of hive top feeder I'm guessing is called a, a Miller top feeder designed by uh, Dr. C.C. Miller way back uh, turn of the the last century I guess he lived in the late 1800s early 1900s but um, so we take this top off and um, We've got a lot of ants, uh, sugar ants, that have gotten up in here. So that's one potential con of this, this feeder. The only thing I could think maybe to solve that problem would be to put some kind of foam uh, insulation around the top of this so that when it sits down, it creates kind of an airtight seal that uh, sugar ants can't get, get into. But uh, Hasn't seemed to be a huge issue for the bees. They tend to stay over here. You can see there's not any sugar ants past the, the wire where the bees are. So they're doing a good job of protecting the hive and keeping the ants from getting in there. Um, the nice thing about this is you can take the top off, feed from the back. The bees are not going to come out to you, so you don't have to do anything uh, in terms of worrying both getting it off or putting it back on. You can look at the bees. Uh, we've been using these for about two weeks. We had originally used, uh, we used to use the large yellow plastic entrance feeders. Those were a total failure for us. They leaked, um, bad, had ants and things all over them. Uh, obviously the possibility for robber bees to come in and right there at the entrance. Uh, so we got rid of those. We switched, went back to the glass quart jars with the, the wood uh, entrance feeders. Those were better, they didn't leak, uh, but they don't hold quite as much and uh, having to sort of take them on and off right at the entrance to the, the hive is uh, not ideal, especially when you pull it off, there's usually a lot of bees under there just like there are right here. There's bees waiting that kind of know where this is coming from. Um, we are in the middle of June, uh, or actually the end of June, almost July on our farm, and we're feeding uh, a really light syrup two to one, uh, two parts water, one part sugar, in hopes, because we've got these two supers on, these are new hives, and we're just in hopes that the by feeding and continuing to feed them, uh, the bees will draw out comb on these honey supers, which right now they just, they don't have any. That has been helpful here because it's been drawing the bees up with the, the, the feeder on top. It's actually been drawing the bees up through the supers and there are a lot more bees on the frames in these supers now since we put this on there. Where we are, we have a lot of uh, silk trees or what are also known as mimosas, but they're not actually mimosa trees. We've got a lot of silk trees on our property and around us. So there's a heavy nectar flow right now, nectar and pollen from the mimosa trees. Uh, it'd be nice if the combination of those two things, we can get these hives drawn out with comb. So let me show you, um, the, these feeders hold, will hold, they say they hold about a gallon and a half of uh, sugar water. Like I said, we've been doing a pretty light mixture here in the summer, specifically with the purpose of trying to get them to draw out comb and uh, they go through a fair amount. Uh, they're going through a gallon or a gallon and a half in less than 24 hours. Um, look down at the bottom as I pour this in, there's put a couple of shims. These are just plastic washers that we put underneath the hive so that as we pour the sugar water, it's leaning forward. And uh, even at the end, once they drink it, all the sugar water will go towards the feeder. It's a real simple design, just metal screen that they stapled around uh, over here, go down. And then on this separator, this bar that comes where they come up from the lower hive, it's also got metal screen that wraps around and comes down. And so you can watch, I pour slowly at first when I put this in. Um, in order for the bees to adjust the we have two hives uh, right now the other hive in all the times we fed it i don't think only one bee has died uh, in the hive this hive first time we used it 13 bees died 
and I was a little bit concerned about that. I also was concerned how are they going to how to get the dead bees out. Not a problem because the bees the bees themselves removed all of the dead bees within within a uh, within a night. So. Um, <clears throat> Compared to other hive top feeders, I know that some people have had um, have had issues with, uh, particularly from Brushy Mountain. Uh, there's a they have a hive top feeder. A friend of mine has one that has a floating design. It's got a floater that the bees supposedly get on. He had massive uh, losses of bees with that design. So this design for us has worked really well. Uh, it, it they haven't leaked. Um, it you know prevents robber bees from getting any other bees from getting to the sugar the sugar water uh, aside from the sugar ants themselves getting up and getting into it we've not had other real issues and the nice thing is again because of the design you can function from the back of the hive not get in their flight path you can do this in the middle of the day replace the sugar water uh, when it runs out and uh, by the time word gets to the bees that this is here this by the time when you pull this up later we've not uh, have not had any sugar I think it's been at least a day since we've had any sugar water in here we've just been super busy but usually when you open this thing up it is completely covered in bees uh, I mean this is just packed full of bees trying to get in here uh, and get to, to get to the sugar water which is probably part of the reason why they can go through a gallon gallon and a half in about 12 to anywhere from 12 to 24 hours they can drink uh, all of that so quite thirsty that's it um, I just wanted to get a review up uh, on YouTube about this uh, hive top feeder I hadn't seen anything didn't see any on YouTube so I figured I'd put one on there in case anybody was wondering about this particular design so um, that's it Thanks for watching.